both uh, Indiana and Arkansas are seeing local entities building middle mile consortia. Um, and electric cooperatives are deeply involved in Indiana and I think solely involved in the one in Arkansas, which I believe is Diamond State Network or something like that. And um, anyway, I, I know that I think Kim probably knows the folks at NoahNet pretty well, the Northwest Open Access Network, which is 20 years old and and does some of these same things. I thought it might be worth talking a little bit about it. It seems like a pretty cool development. And uh, and I figured Doug would, would have some sort of trivia about it as well. So, uh, so what's going on there? Well, first off, this idea has been around, for, like I say, for 20 years. There's at least 15 states where the telephone companies got together and connected themselves all up. And so... And those networks over time made a lot of money. And so, yeah, the Dakotas right. both have one. Right. And so, here, if those electric co ops are going to all have last mile fiber, <clears throat> it's natural to save money by connecting each other. If they really want to do it right, they're going to do what the telephone cooperatives did in Tennessee, where they also consolidate all their back offices, hire two smart engineers for all 20 companies, hire one marketing group for all 20. If they're really smart, they would all save 15% on their operating costs. 